So for those who don't know, I first played Minecraft Bed Wars pretty much the day it came out. I've played a good bit over the years, and I've managed to have a lot of fun experiences with it. It was one of my favorite minigames, and being able to experience it since day one has allowed me to see just how much things have changed over the years. The gameplay is more or less the same, but with the rise of new strategies, a cultural shift among the player base, and people just getting better at the game over time, Bed Wars isn't exactly what it used to be. You can take that however you want, whether you prefer how it is currently or not, but in this video, I'm going to be playing a couple games and talking about the changes the game mode's been through, along with my opinions on it. It's been a while since I've done a Bed Wars video, so I hope you still enjoy it. Thanks for watching, everyone. You know, I think it's kind of interesting. Bed Wars used to be one of the only games I ever would play on this channel. Uh, it was really just three. It was Sky Wars, Bed Wars, and UHC, and UHC was never really on Hypixel at that time. But now I consider myself just like a Minecraft mini games and events channel. I know that's probably not the best way to put it, because I could probably use less words, but I don't really care. I don't know why you would buy a golden apple for that when I was about to break your bed, but it's whatever. But I think it makes me wonder why my focus is sort of you know, gone away from Bed Wars, considering that was a major focus for me. And you know, there's a multitude of reasons that something like that can happen, but I think a lot of that just has to do with, you know, Hypixel and Minecraft YouTube changing. Like, the whole culture is different, you know, everything's different. And there's nothing really wrong with that, you know. Oh my goodness, he had nine emeralds. Okay, do we go the obsidian route? Nah. I'm playing on my alt just because it's a lot easier to commentate when I'm on my alt. I will buy an underpearl though. I always like using underpearls. Even though it's not really necessary in this case. Oh, he just fell. I was trying to <laughs> I was trying to fool that guy into thinking that was my bed, even though I knew it was never gonna work. Okay, I need to do this, because he He doesn't have any blocks, I'm sure. And there we go. The other guy's totally gonna break my bed soon. Uh, what are you doing? Come on, that was never gonna work, man. Did it work? He's not dead. I mean, he's just sitting down there. I don't know, I think Bed Wars is still pretty fun. There is just a lot to it that, you know, has changed. You know, as I said in the intro to this video, my first time ever playing Bed Wars, uh, probably in 2017 when it first came out. Oh, I'm gonna kill myself. I know I have three emeralds, but I should. Wait, he just jumped off! <laughs> okay, well, I win. Cool. Yeah, don't blame him for playing a little bit ballsy. He had to get here fast. I think my point is that from playing the game in 2017, you know, that was right around when people started speed bridging. I don't mean that nobody was doing it before. I had seen a few people, but it became a lot more, like, part of the culture of Minecraft, the competitive scene. Like this guy. I mean, this dude knows how to speed bridge. You know, in the old days of Bed Wars, that would not have been true in a game that... Probably has a bunch of really low stars, although this guy could be like a sweat or something, just, uh, who knows, but... Uh, well, it didn't feel like a sweat. I mean, he didn't even protect his bed. He thinks... he thinks he's slick. Come on, man. I knew you were doing that. There we go. Awesome. But as you can see, just the beginning of these games, there's a lot more action than there used to be. A lot more aggression, and you don't see as many people camping their islands and doing nothing, which is good for the game in some aspects, but I've talked about this before, I think probably most recently in my video about modern combat, of like, the, you know, the video I went on a, a 1.16 server, I think it was? But in that video, I talked a lot about how Minecraft PvP, and really just competitive Minecraft in general, has gotten very optimized. A lot of that has to do with just the fact that the people who are creating content for the game or getting popular, really, most of them, outside of a few of the YouTube Kids guys, you know, a lot of them are getting popular because of their skill. And that's a shift that we started seeing, like, four or five years ago, you know. What is this bed defense? I don't know, but you're dead. <laughs> stuff like this is why I like still playing with low stars, because you get stuff like that that uh, doesn't really make much sense. You know, truthfully, I think most people yearn for lobbies that are less sweaty when they play, which is fair. But at the end of the day, doesn't that make us kind of a little hypocritical? We want to play in lobbies that aren't sweaty, but we're sweaty players ourselves, you know? <laughs> like, my peak of sweating was several years ago, but it's not like I haven't retained any of that. Doc, I see you. I don't- I'm not dumb. I know where you are. Oh my goodness! <laughs> okay, let's just do this. 
Yeah, all right, back up we go. Actually, let's just go eat this and go. Like we can end this game right now. Why don't we? Oh, he has he had golden apples in his ender chest. That's or something like that. I don't know. Oh god, he comboed me there. Good on him. I always just play a lot more carelessly now. I don't care too much about skill. Like I just sort of just walk forward into that guy and see what happens. It didn't even strafe. I've just changed my mentality a lot the past few years. I think the game is more fun to play when you're a bit less sweaty and don't care too much, but then it's like, I mean, you see how I'm playing this whole time. One of the main things that's changed in Bed Wars was when, uh, probably a couple years, and I don't entirely remember when it started, but people started using the IYN strategy for the game, which is really just, like, give each player on your team specific roles and items that they have to buy in the shop, and... It's a very optimized way of playing, and probably the best way to play if you're really good. But I'd also argue that, like, I don't thrive off of the items that <laughs> get bought there. I'm not really that great with TNT. I just don't really like using it. I don't like using fireballs either. I know most people use fireballs, and I probably should as well. Although fireballs aren't even part of that strategy, so I don't know why I brought that up. But now, like, everyone knows what map you're, you know, theoretically supposed to rush in, like, specific directions. And at this level, though, no one's really thinking like that. Other than, the, there's a few people that play on alts, which is obviously what, obviously what I'm doing here. Although, pretty much every time I play on this alt, it's for recording. What do you guys think about the notion that Bed Wars is dying? Like, I've heard that a couple times. You know, I've always refrained from making a whole video about something like that. Like, really just... Hypixel in general, because for one, Minecraft in general is down, like it's not as big as it was a couple years ago, so you can never expect, you know, Hypixel to be at that level and continue to grow, and naturally, just due to the nature of Hypixel content, being that it's a subset of Minecraft content, it's always going to be, you know, not the greatest, this might be a bad idea, okay, <laughs> we're good, I think, hopefully. There we go. My point is, it's always going to be a subset of Minecraft content and always be at a bit of a disadvantage because of that. And a lot of the YouTubers that, you know, are trying to make a career out of this whole thing, they'll see, oh, it's a lot easier for me to make a career out of, you know, general Minecraft content and taking advantage of that side of it than it is to, you know, do videos on a specific server. Now, for me, I'm not trying to make this career. I don't really want to be a YouTuber. Oh no, my bet's gone, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I don't I mean I don't mean like I don't want to be a YouTuber in the sense that I don't want to make videos because obviously I'm making videos but I think your mentality with video production is a lot different when when you're not looking at it with the lens of okay well I need to make sure I grow this much in, in this amount of time so that I can hopefully be on a good timeline for making this amount of money you know I just don't think that way but yeah I've purposefully slowed down quite a bit this year jeez what if watch this this guy actually I think kind of knows what he's doing so, uh, let's just go back. Oh, okay, he kind of knows what he's doing. I need to- I need to actually focus. Dang it. Okay, bye. <laughs> if he wants to run, he can run. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. I'm in the complete wrong direction. That's all on me. Guess what? We <laughs> got another one, boys. Make him think I'm not gonna break it. Oh! <laughs> GG. He called me gay! <laughs> I played two more games, but I didn't find them interesting enough to extend this video by six minutes for no reason. I don't want to waste your time that badly. In one game, I ran into this guy who has a very interesting username, and the other game, I let another player do all the work only to kill him at the end, which he called lame. It was, but I'd never tell him that. I spent those games commentating about how some players I've played Bed Wars with in the past seemed to feel like there was only one strategy or one viable way to play. I never really liked that way of thinking. I find it boring to do the same thing every time, and I think freshening up your playstyle is a great way to keep these minigames interesting. But at the end of the day, what do I know? I don't play that much Bed Wars anymore, and I'm not your dad, so do whatever you want. But with that in mind, guys, hope you're having a fantastic day. And I'll see you all next week. Peace out, everyone.